the name of the session is Electric Drives and Their Applications. I am Dr. S. Chatterjee, Professor and Head of Electrical Engineering Department, UK Chandigarh. Well, when I talk of the outline of this program, we have Introduction to Electric Drives. That means we cover what is electric drive, what do you mean by that, then DC drives, then applications of DC drives, then AC drives, applications of AC drives, role of power electronic converters in electric drives. This is the outline of this program. Now, to start with the introduction, I say an electric motor along with its controller is called an electric drive. That's the definition of electric drive. What do you mean by an electric drive? What is the difference between a motor and a drive? Many people, they just confuse, they think that electric motor is a drive. No, the motor is the heart of the drive, but along with the motor, there is a control unit. When you put together both of them, the total unit as a whole becomes a drive, and that is known as electric drive. The modern electric drive systems, if we talk about, about 50% of the generated electrical energy is used for drives. And this is a very spontaneous uh, attraction for all engineers, especially electrical engineers and electronic engineers, that 50% of the generated electrical energy is used for drives. That means drives have a very, very important role, both in the domestic applications as well as in industrial applications. But domestic applications are very small, so we focus our total concentration on the industrial drives. Electric drives are classified as in two forms. They are fixed speed that is constant speed and a variable. The same drive can be used at a constant speed or a variable speed. Why this? Because many times the application is such that you need a constant speed drive. The process is such. First of all, we should understand why this drive is required. The drive is required for doing a performance, for doing an action. And that is based on the, the requirement of the process. The process, every process has different requirements. And it can be done at a constant speed. Some, some of the processes, they need to run at a constant speed. So there we used to have a fixed speed drive or a constant speed drive. But some of the processes, for example, in newspaper, news printing processes, or in some other processes also, we have different type of activities. And every activity is to be done at different speed. So there we require a variable speed. That's why, basically, we have two types of drives. One is fixed speed drive, another is variable speed. 75% constant speed. Now, this is an alarming situation. That means 75% of the applications of drives are for constant speed. Yet that is a fixed speed. And 25% variable speed. But this is expanding. Now, many of the performances or actions or activities in the industry, they need different speeds or variable speed. So this 25% is expanding very high. Variable speed drives typically use power electronic converters, PECs. They, they are known as PECs, power electronic converters. Now, how you change the speed of a drive, how you vary the speed of a drive, that is done with the help of some electronic circuits, and that is basically power electronic converters. So that is required to energize the motors. So if you see the classification of DC motors, the DC motor can be classified mainly as a Brush, brush type of brush type motors. Then there is a super stepper motors. Then we have brushless motors, and the brush type of motors can be further classified as shunt series and compound. It's very known to you, very much known to you that shunt motors are a very unique type of drive, DC drive, of course, which can be used as a constant speed drive as well as as a variable speed drive. So that can, that can be used for, suppose, for example, this is a unique characteristic <laughs> of the motor that it runs normally very near at a constant speed. If you change the load very much, then its speed will differ. But otherwise, its speed does not differ much. So it can be used as a constant speed drive. And also, there is a provision, voltage control method, armature voltage control method, and flux control method, by which you can change the speed of the drive. So that shunt motor can be used as a variable speed drive also. Then there is a series motor. The series motor is normally used for constant speed, very constant speed drive. And it is a particular characteristic it has that it has a very high starting torque. For example, railway tracks for uh, traction purposes, where you require a constant and high starting torque. I mean, the energy, energy is given, and simultaneously the motor should start. 
high starting torque. There you require series motor. And compound motor is a kind of combination of the two. You have a shunt field, you also have a series field, it becomes a compound motor. It can serve both the ways, means high starting torque can be, or it, it has high starting torque as well as it can vary the speed also. So compound motors are little costlier motors. So now a days shunt motor is very popular as a universal drive, whether it is a constant speed drive or a variable speed. Next comes the AC motors. What are the classifications? Let us look at it. AC motors can be mainly classified in two groups, induction motor and synchronous motor. The induction motor can further be classified as single phase induction motor and three phase induction motor. You may be seeing at your house a ceiling fan, that's a single phase induction motor. But when you go to the industry, a bigger motor, that is not a single phase induction motor, it is a three phase induction motor. And synchronous motors can also be classified as non-excited type and DC excited type of motors. And there further, non-excited can be synchronous, uh, I mean, it can be categorized as reluctance motors, hysteresis motors, and PMDCs, that is permanent magnet DC motors. These are normal characteristics and classifications of drives, AC drives. So if you see the modern electric drive system, a typical electric drive for variable speed application has been presented before you. It has an AC motor, which has which an AC supply, and a shaft is being connected to the DC generator to give a fixed speed. This generator gen, uh, is excited with the help of a, uh, uh, excited uh, with the circuit where the resistance is varied, the constant current is varied, that is field current is varied, and the variable DC is obtained across the terminals of the DC generator. This is fed to the DC motor. So it requires a AC DC set. AC DC, okay? And it works as a motor generator set. They call it motor generator set. So you feed AC to an AC motor and then you couple it with a DC generator. The DC generator generates a DC per fixed generator DC voltage, but that is varied. So variable DC is obtained across the DC terminals of the motor generator and that is fed to the DC motor to have a variable DC. And this is further connected to the load to have a variable speed. But this system has certain disadvantages. One is this is very bulky in nature. It is inefficient. Its efficiency is very poor, not much. And it is quite rigid. So it doesn't have the flexibility in the system. Not much flexibility. It's a rigid system. So modern electric drive systems, a typical modern electric drive system can be shown like this wherein you have a power electronic converter. Power electronic converter will have power in, that is input power. Then it goes to the motor from where we take a feedback. When speed is feed, taken as a feedback, it is given to the controller and the controller gets a reference as its input. It is further given to a motor and the motor speed is varied according to the controller what it gets is the feed. Means it is basically a regulator. When we read the speed and the speed is, suppose it has gone higher, what is the required? It has gone higher than that. We get a feedback, we change that error and accordingly we feed to the signal to the controller and that will run the electrical uh, electronic converters. We give the signal to the electronic converter, accordingly the motor speed will change. So this is the application of electric drive control with the help of an electronic system which is power electronic controller. So electric motor has to this thing, electric energy and mechanical energy, and power electronic converters are two parts, electric energy unregulated and electrical <coughs> energy regulated. These are the two parts. If you see the modern electrical drive system, example on VSD, they call it variable speed drive application. So constant speed and variable speed drive. We are trying to know what is the advantage when you have a constant speed and when you have a uh, variable speed. In constant speed, you feel, find that the supply is given to the motor and normally we connect to the pump. Suppose we have a, uh, have a pump connected to it and we want to control it. How do we do it? We put a, place a valve in it. So valve is put and as the arrow shows, it goes in and the pumps out the water. The speed of the water or the quantity of the water is your output, that is the discharge. But supply is given to the motor. This is constant, constant speed. What is happening to the power point? Let us see. Power in power out and power loss, mainly in the valve. The loss is taking place in the valve. You are putting a valve. Yaha par aap valve laga rahe. So valve ke across mein kuch na kuch loss hoga. And that loss is counted. It is taken out of the power which is generated. 
सो पावर आउट गया आउटपुट पावर जिसको बोलते हैं दैट इज रिड्यूस्ड बिकॉज ऑफ द लॉस एंड इफ यू सी द वेरिएबल स्पीड ड्राइव देन देर इज अ पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्वर्टर एट द रेड ब्लॉक इट शोज पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्वर्टर सप्लाई इज गिवन टू इट एंड दैट इज वेट टू द मोटर so power electronic converter what is it doing it is controlling the power which is to be fed to the motor so you are getting output to the pump and the pump you see there is no valve put in it the speed of the uh, motor in the earlier case it was <coughs> controlled by the valve the discharge here it is not controlled by the valve it is controlled from the pc power electronic converter so whatever output is there much more power output is is obtained and the loss which is taking place which was earlier taking place in the valve is reduced so power loss is reduced here and power output is increased this is the main advantage of a vsd that is uh, uh, your uh, a modern electric drive system when you control it with a power electronic converter next so let us see what are the dc drives as i said dc drive is a combination of dc motor and its controller that is basically a dc drive so heart of the drive will be a motor which is dc motor and the power electronic converter so dc machine can be dc machine or the motor why dc machine can anybody tell me what, what is the dc machine how do i say the dc machine suddenly i have started talking dc machine you see dc machine dc motors dc generators dc machine could be a dc motor it could also be a dc generator so difference kya hai dono mein what is the difference again i'm saying that dc motor and dc generator both are dc machines that means in other sense in other words you can say that a dc machine can be used either as a dc generator or as a dc motor so difference kya ho gaya one has the motoring action the other has the generating action but the machine is same ab aapne kya karna hai in case of a dc motor you are using input as electrical dc power and output is in terms of mechanical कई डिविएशन होगा चाहे कुछ स्पीड होगा चाहे डिस्प्लेसमेंट होगा समथिंग लाइक दैट व्हिच इज अ मैकेनिकल आउटपुट वेयर एज इन अ डीसी मोट अ जनरेटर व्हाट इज हैपनिंग यू आर गिविंग अ मैकेनिकल पावर इनपुट बाय द हेल्प ऑफ अ प्राइम मूवर और उसकी जब उसको रोटर को आप चलाते हैं तो उसमें इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट होती है द आउटपुट इज इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर बट माइंड इट द मशीन इज रिमेंस द सेम सो डीसी मशीन कैन इदर बी यूज्ड एज अ डीसी जनरेटर और एज अ डीसी मोटर it only depends what type of action you are taking out of it so that's why i said dc machine it can be of the separately excited type and further it can be series shunt and compound as already explained in the earlier slide so this is the diagram what we have given a cut uh, a diagram you can see there are stator windings the winding windings brushes rotor and there are two terminals out of the brushes marked as positive and negative these are the outer terminals wherein to get the connection out and there is a very important part called commutator the part wherein it is there that is armature but the commutator is a very very important part of this machine what does it do can anybody tell okay converts ac into dc and dc into ac so it in motoring action what is it doing in generating action it is converting the the electricity which has been generated what is faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and that is basically electrical energy it cannot be dc electrical energy is basically an ac right by faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction theek hai na to wo to ac in nature ka hai lekin dc generator ka output dc hota hai so it is converting this commutator is converting that ac into dc where any motoring action if it does not do the other way then what will happen motor ek bar yahan chalegi to dusri bar ulta taraf chalegi and it will it will try to oscillate and it will not run so that is the action in case of a motor so dc machine remains same the construction is same the parts are same only the action is different one is generating action the other is motoring action so this is speed control options i have shown this diagram because speed control why speed control is required first of all you should You should understand it. I have earlier told you that drives are mainly used for doing certain performance, doing some activities. किसी काम को करने के लिए use करते हैं. तो अगर आपको constant speed की आवश्यकता है, if you only require a constant speed, you need not bother for the speed control. You should only see that the speed should be fixed, regulated. That is that is one option. 
and second thing is if you require it for an op, uh, for an action wherein different speeds are required you have to vary it so for that you have to see what are the factors on which the speed of the motor depends right so here it is clearly shown that va is equal to ira plus eb that is equal to ira plus kif omega or omega is equal to va minus ira divided by kif now what are these nomenclatures omega as all you know angular speed va is the armature voltage ia is the armature current if is the field current and k is the proportionality constant now what do you get out of this equation omega is equal to va minus ira divided by ki it is clearly understood from this equation that omega which is related with the speed depends on two factors what are the two factors one is the armature voltage another is the armature no, field current field current because i voltage is va and field current is if so if we and if you if you want to connect it with the armature voltage how is it related it is directly proportional you increase the va omega will increase you decrease the va omega will decrease that is the speed will decrease so speed of the motor is directly proportional to the armature voltage in other sense if which is coming is the denominator of the equation what does it mean the speed is inversely proportional to the field current or flux that means drive speed can be controlled by two methods one is armature voltage control and this is up to the rated speed because you want to increase the speed you can do it but second the field flux control field or flux control can you can you get lower the speed flux ko aap kam kar sakte hain ya zyada kar sakte hain dono mein se kya kar sakte hain flux is dependent on field current mind it field current any current can be reduced it cannot be increased it cannot be increased and how can it be reduced by putting a resistance in the circuit so if you put a resistance circuit if is reduced if reduced means flux is reduced so speed ko kya karega wo it will increase so whenever you want to go above rated speed you will go for the field flux control method and whenever you want to go a rated speed up to rated speed means zero se leke rated speed pe jayenge so armature voltage control ko use karo this is the speed torque characteristic a very important characteristic or you have torque on the vertical axis and rotational speed at the horizontal axis you see there is a stall torque and there is a no load speed is obtained obtained when the rational uh, rotational speed is zero okay so this line if you join it is known as no load speed this line is the line of reference is called line of reference board agar aap dekhe is case mein the rectangle which is colored with red that is a very low power it shows the power voltage and current it shows the power so its power is very less so you can obtain very less power look at the third figure that is at the bottom if you see at the mid point of this line and eh, if you have a point of intersection at the torque and the rotational that the area is much more the area is much more what does it indicate you will have a higher power generation so if you want to have it that's why it is written maximum power p max so p max is obtained at this point that is mid point of the load line and take the third case there also the power is very very less at this point so if you go go at the mid point the power is maximum if you go higher power reduced if you go lower the power is also reduced so if you want to have the maximum power out of it you have to put it at the mid point of the load this is what is known as speed torque characteristic chopper drives now why chopper drives because we are talking of controlling the speed of a dc uh, drive dc motor or dc drive so if you want to control it there are certain powered electronic devices as i said power pc we are saying all the time we are saying pc so what can be a pc chopper is one of the pcs it could be chopper it could be thyristor other thyristorized drive it could be cyclo converter it could be inverter etc etc so chopper is a very popular pc power electronic converter and that is used for converting i mean speed control so what is a chopper chopper is an electronic switching circuit which converts the unregulated dc input to a controlled dc output with desired voltage level by switching the supply on and off simply सप्लाई को ऑन ऑफ ऑन ऑफ ऑन ऑफ ऐसा करते इससे क्या हो जाएगा वॉट विल यू गेट 
आप जो सप्लाई डीसी मोटर को दे रहे हैं उसको ऑन ऑफ ऑन ऑफ ऑन ऑफ करते रहिए विच विच इज नोन एज ड्यूटी साइकिल यू हैव सर्टेन पीरियड विच इज ऑन पीरियड एंड सर्टेन पीरियड विच इज ऑफ पीरियड ओके अब ऑन को भी वेरी कर सकते हैं ऑफ को भी वेरी कर सकते हैं टोटल टाइम जो हो जाएगा दैट इज टी ऑन प्लस टी ऑफ तो टी ऑन डिवाइडेड बाई टी ऑन प्लस टी ऑफ इफ आई मेक एट टी ऑन इज दट ऑन पीरियड एंड टी ऑफ इज द ऑफ पीरियड सो टोटल टाइम टी विल बी टी ऑन प्लस टी ऑफ सो इफ यू गेट कैलकुलेट दिस दैट टी ऑन डिवाइडेड बाई टी ऑन प्लस टी ऑफ दैट इज नोन एज द ड्यूटी साइकिल डिवाइस सो ड्यूटी साइकिल को चेंज करके यानी कि ऑन ऑफ को चेंज करके हम वोल्टेज लेवल को चेंज कर देते हैं एंड वेन वी चेंज द वोल्टेज लेवल अकॉर्डिंगली दिस स्पीड विल चेंज दिस इज वॉट इज चॉपर लेट सी so general block diagram can we this is a block diagram wherein dc supply from rectifier filter battery fuel cell etc could be ho sakta hai it could be a rectifier of course the rectifier has to be has to be with the help of a filter agar bina filter ke aap rectifier se denge to uske andar kya problem hoti hai you have lot of ripples is it so ripples ko kam karne ke liye filter use kiya jata hai so filter use kijiye best solution is battery but battery is a very costly affair बैटरी अगर आप इनपुट देंगे बैटरी और रेक्टिफाइड आउटपुट बैटरी आउटपुट एंड रेक्टिफाइड आउटपुट में क्या फर्क है रेक्टिफाइड आउटपुट जो होता है उसको पल्सेटिंग डीसी बोलते हैं बिकॉज इट हैज टू हैव सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ रिपुल्स एंड उन रिपुल्स को आप जीरो नहीं कर सकते बट यू कैन रिड्यूस दम टू सम एक्सटेंट हाउ यू डू हाउ डू यू रिड्यूस इट यू रिड्यूस इट विद हेल्प ऑफ फिल्टर्स right that's why i have said either you have battery or you have rectifier with filter or you may have fuel cell these are the options so this is for the input side and you have a control which is derived from the feedback circuit feedback circuit means the load say aap ek feedback lenge isko closed loop banane ke liye because closed loop control is a better control system you have a system from the load and you feed it back suppose there is a motor so motor ki speed ko feedback lenge but you may ask me a question that feedback is taken from the motor shaft okay and that is in the rpm the speed is in the rpm say n rpm n dash rpm n double dash rpm whatever it is 1040 rpm ye uski speed hai agar humne feedback liya aapko wo 1040 nahi aake maan lijiye 1900 aata hai to error kitna ho gaya 140 140 rpm it is not r it is rpm तो आरपीएम को मैं इनपुट फीडबैक कैसे कर सकता हूं सिस्टम विच इज वर्किंग ऑन अ वोल्टेज सिग्नल हाउ कैन आई गिव इट गिव एन आरपीएम एज इनपुट टू इट इट विल व्हाट विल इट डू इट विल नॉट बी एबल टू रिकॉग्नाइज इट सो कंट्रोल कोई सवाल ही नहीं होता सो so, क्या करेंगे वहां पर आप व्हाट विल डू सो यू हैव टू यूज ए ट्रांसड्यूसर विच कैन कन्वर्ट दिस आरपीएम इन एन इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल इक्वेलेंट सिग्नल एंड दैट सिग्नल विल बी रेड बाई दट ओके so that is nothing but a taco generator so taco generator is a transducer which converts that signal into electrical equivalent electrical signal and that will be fed to the motor accordingly it will take care error ko generate karega usko amplify karega amplify karne ke baad us hisab se voltage ki agar pressurized hai to usko firing ko increase ya decrease karega as you increase the firing angle or decrease the firing angle the voltage level changes and actually the speed will change so this is nothing but a voltage regulator and it goes to the load the methods of control let's see what are the methods the output dc voltage can be varied by the following methods one is pulse width modulation control this is a very very popular control pulse width pdm pwm bolte hain so or constant frequency operation here the frequency is constant pulse width mein aapki frequency jo hai constant rehti hai variable frequency control and current limit control these are normally the methods of control let's see what are these this is the diagram for the pulse width modulation again i am saying you that it is a question of duty cycle v0 means v output versus time how long you are putting it for the on time how long you are putting for the off time that de uh, defines your duty cycle and that duty cycle if you change the voltage will vary so t on t off you are you are changing and this is the capital t which is the total time okay and this is variable frequency t was variable now it is a variable second method is variable frequency variable frequency by 120 f by p this is this is the uh, equation actually so you see that there is a number of pole which is 
a part of the speed equation and the f frequency is also a part of the speed okay and 120 f by p f is coming in the numerator so what does it mean frequency jo hai uske directly proportional hai agar main frequency ko change karu baaki koi cheez na change karu to bhi speed change hoga theek hai so that is why it is known as variable frequency control here also you have t on t off and constant t on agar rakhenge to ye t jo hai isme t off bada denge t on badhayenge to t jo hai vary karega and naturally duty cycle will change the voltage will change aur agar hum dusri tarike se karenge to constant t off rakhenge constant t on usme rakha tha dusre mein constant t off means t on ko bhi constant karke duty cycle change kar sakte hain t off ko bhi constant karke duty cycle change kar sakte hain but it is always changing the frequency that's why it is known as frequency control करंट लिमिटिंग अब करंट को भी अगर मैं चेंज करूं करंट का भी इसमें थोड़ा सा ये प्रॉब्लम है कि इसकी रेंज बहुत कम होती है यू कैन सी द फिगर देर इज आई मैक्स एंड देर इज आई मिनिमम तो ये रेंज बहुत छोटा है इसके अंदर जो है कंट्रोल आप कर सकते हैं बियॉन्ड दिस यू कैन नॉट गो सो दिस इज हियर ऑल्सो ये आई मिनिमम से आई मैक्स जाने में जो पीरियड है दैट इज टी ऑन एंड अगर आई मैक्स से फिर आई मिनिमम आने में जो पीरियड है दैट इज टी ऑफ मीन्स तब तक उसको ऑफ रखेंगे सो टोटल टाइम इज की विच इज ड्यूटी साइकिल टी ऑन डिवाइडेड बाई टी ऑन प्लस टी ऑन तो उसको भी जब हम चेंज करेंगे तो हमारा कंट्रोल जो है वो आई मिनिमम से लेकर आई मैक्स तक हो सकता है बट दैट कंट्रोल इज नॉट वेरी इफेक्टिव बिकॉज इट्स रेंज इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल सो चॉपर कंट्रोल डीसी मोटर अगर आप ब्लॉक डायगर पूरी देखना चाहें तो इट लुक्स लाइक दिस देर इज एन आई जी बी टी यू कैन सी आई जी बी टी आई जी बी टी इज इंसुलेटेड इंसुलेटेड गे बाई जंक्शन ट्रांसिस्टर राइट ये इसके द्वारा आप इसको बना सकते हैं और एल्स यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज ए थाइरेस्टर आप थाइरेस्टर से भी बना सकते हैं सो इट इज एन आई जी बेस्ड आई जी बी टी बेस्ड चॉपर कंट्रोल यू हैव स्मूथनिंग इंडक्टेंस स्मूथनिंग इंडक्टेंस इज मेन फॉर रिमूविंग द रिफल्स स्मूथ करने के लिए उसके आउटपुट को हमने डीसी मोटर में दिया है एंड देर इज अ पी आई कंट्रोलर पी आई करंट कंट्रोल है जिसमें दो इनपुट्स आ रही हैं। वन इनपुट इज टेकन फ्रॉम द स्मूथनिंग इंडक्टेंस डायरेक्टली एंड वन इनपुट इज टेकन बाय द आउटपुट ऑफ द डीसी मोटर थ्रू पीआई स्पीड कंट्रोल और यहां पर एक रेगुलेशन स्विच लगा दिया है वही ऑन ऑफ ऑन ऑफ कर रहे हैं जो हम ड्यूटी साइकिल को चेंज कर रहे हैं तो ऑन ऑफ ऑन ऑफ करने पर नेचुरली इसका करंट रेफरेंस जो होगा वो जो इसके आउटपुट में आएगा दैट बी गिवन टू दी आई सो अकॉर्डिंगली द फायरिंग ऑफ द आई जी बी टी विल चेंज सो नेचुरली दिस इज अ चॉपिंग चॉपिंग का मतलब क्या होता है चॉपिंग मीन्स काटना ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड चॉपिंग मीन्स काटना एंड द डिवाइस विच कट्स इट इज चॉपर जैसे आपने देखा होगा कि जो ये हमारे गोस्ट बेचते हैं ना मटन वो चॉपर यूज करते हैं दैट इज नोन एज चॉपर काटना जिसको कहते हैं सो इफ द वोल्टेज लेवल इज से एक्स वोल्ट एंड आई रिड्यूस इट टू वाई वोल्ट इट इज ए चॉपिंग सो एक्स टू वाई तो डीसी टू डीसी जो हमने घटा दिया वो भी एक चॉपर तो दैट इज वाई एंड दैट कैन बी एसी चॉपर ऑल्सो and that can be reduced it can be increased also so ac choppers bhi aate hain dc choppers bhi aate hain basically it is the voltage level change and how do i change it by changing its duty cycle or duty cycle ko kaise change karte hain by changing the t on time and t off time how long you are putting it on how long you are putting it off it can be done in two ways either you vary t to keep t on constant vary t off or you keep t off constant a vary t off. duty cycle will automatically Next. So these are the quadrants of operation. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. You can look at it. First quadrant and the third quadrant are forwarding motor, forward and reverse motoring action. Are both. One is forward motoring and the other one is reverse motoring. Is me. देखेंगे आप कि TL जो load torque है और जो electrical torque है उनका direction movement अलग है. दोनों opposite. but the the, the tl is moving here in the opposite direction and the first quadrant it is opposite direction first quadrant you see this is clockwise movement and third quadrant the reverse motoring mein aap dekhenge so it is reversing in the anti clockwise direction a tl jo aapka electrical torque hai that is in the opposite to so, pehla agar aapka first quadrant aap dekhe which is forward motoring here tl is in clockwise direction and te is in anti clockwise direction. T is in clockwise direction and T L is in anti-clockwise direction. And in the third quadrant, just reverses the condition. If you go to the second and fourth 
quadrants, they are reverse breaking and forward breaking. You see, this is breaking. So the, what is happening is it is it is only the angle what you are changing. Firing angle, if we have to make a banana hai, so firing angle ko agar 90 degrees, ke, it is a first quadrant operation. If I go to 92, 120 degrees, it is a second quadrant operation. Second quadrant operation means it is not a rectifier, it is an inverter. Similarly, ye third ka wo first ke saath match karega, fourth jo hai wo second ke saath. So 360 degree quadrant means four quadrant operations are possible in DC machines. Next. D, what are the demerits? It's bulky as compared to AC counterparts. Commutator, since commutator is there, as I am saying, commutator is an integral part of a DC machine. It keeps on sparking. Because of that slight air gap, there is a sparking taking place. And that's a constant sparking. So constant sparking is a difference. Kya the problem kya hoga? It is all the time power loss. One thing. Second thing is the life hai, ye pitting ke se dhere dhere kam hoti hai. So pitting you understand carbon deposition hota jaega. Jitni uski sparking hoti jaegi, uske upar carbon deposition hota jaega. And ultimately, chota sa gadda type ka ban jata hai. Pitting jisko bolte hai. And that will cost its life. So performance apne aap hi gata This is one major disadvantage. A bulky to hai hai. If you see a 5 HP AC motor and you see an a 5 HP DC motor, it is obvious that a 5 HP DC motor will be much bulkier than the AC motor because of its construction. Because of an extra part called come. And yeah, heavy bhi hoga, costly bhi hoga. So these are the demerits. And third major disadvantage is above 500 kilowatt manufacturing of machine <laughs> itself is tedious. It's a very complex situation. So it becomes complex, it becomes costlier, and its maintenance is also difficult. That's why these are the demerits of DC. So, now applications of DC types. Boiler feed pumps. Very much used. Boiler feed pumps and DC drives both use hota hai. Electric cars mein DC drives use hota hai. Then electric car speed control. You know uh, speed control kya se hota hai. Electric car mein jo speed control hai, normally there is a potentiometer. Aap jab dekhte hai speed ko, aap nozzle ko change karte hai. To nozzle ko, jab aap accelerator ko dabate hai, what happens? Car mein, jab aap accelerator ko dabate hai, to kya hota hai? More fuel is. Hey, here it is electric car ke andar kya hota hai? That potentiometer ka jo jockey hai, the, poten the part which moves, do fixed part hai aur ek movable hai, that is known as jockey, wo move hota hai, move hone se kya hoga, uski voltage different ho jayi, different different. So batteries, <laughs> 96 volt ka hai, DC controller hai, aur jo hi aap isko accelerator ko 50% mein kar dhati hai, uske baad ye kam ya zyada karte hai, to naturally uski jo SP ko bhatti bhatti hai, accordingly DC controller receives the signal and the DC motor what is there will receive it accordingly. So this is also if you isko aap thoda sa analyze kare on CRO, you will get a curve like this which is shown here, and it is nothing but the on and off. So basically, the duty cycle is being changed in all the controllers. One way is to do it with either with a manual thing or with a mechanical thing, or as you suggested, the changing of the no nozzle, jada fuel deke, kam fuel deke. It is same thing. And electrically, how are you doing it? By putting it on time and off time and varying those two. This is what is happening. Electric bikes, they are very much used. Electric bikes, maybe DC ka drive ka use hota hai. Next. Electric trains and trams. Electric trains are uh, limited up to voltage level trams are 600 to 750 volts. And voltage level for trains are 1500 to 3000 volts. So imagine 1500 to 3000 volts tra trains are also available. But when you go for the modern traction, what is the voltage level? It is, what is the voltage level? 25 kV. Yeah? 25 kV. How do you get this? 25 kV, kahan se milta hai? Because it is, uh, uh, people say, it is believed that it's a railway property. The substation, there are substations say about 50 or 100 kilometers. Every 50 kilometers, 100 kilometers, there is a substation which feeds the way, the locomotive at 25 kV from their this thing. It is not from the electricity board or some electricity authorities. It is railways property. They buy electricity from authorities and they send this electricity at 25 kV. And then further, there is a locomotive whole setup is there. 
the whole unit is there which converts it into lower voltage single phase three phase ac dc etc etc rectifier bhi laga hua hota hai that is inbuilt in the locomotive itself so paper mills lot of application of dc drives in paper mills you have uh, you have speed controllers aapne kabhi dekha hoga bahut drums bahut badi badi ye aapki cement industry mein bhi hota cement industry mein kiln hota hai must have seen it have you seen a cement industry have you ever visited you will see there is a big cylinder very big cylinder which is having uh, that mixture uske andar se cement ka mixture hota hai calcium and what not jitne bhi uske <coughs> ingredients hote hain wo uske andar rakh ke ek particular temperature usko garam karte hain now if you want to heat that at a that a regulator regulating heating isko bolte hain regulated heating if you want to heat it at that particular temperature us cheez ko kya karte hain uniformity lane ke liye us pure kai ko ghumate hain they that is rotated once it is rotated it has to be rotated at a very very small speed and that speed is obtained by cyclocontrollers it is nothing but a thyristor application so it is a dc drive what i want to say is in paper mills in cement industry it is always dc drive then steel rolling mills lot of applications are there in steel rolling mills lifts hoists etc you have hoists lift all these are dc drive now comes the procedures okay let's see modeling and control of electrical drives induction motor ac driver sabse aage naam kaun sa aata whenever i say ac drive you will immediately say induction motor huh? so induction motor drives it can be the control can be either a scalar control or it can be a vector control scalar and vector the scalar control is always either v change ya v by f ka ratio ka change this is what is scalar control and vector control which is now very popular in the industries field oriented control foc bolte hain or that is further divided into rotor flux and stator flux control. and the other control is direct torque control dtc direct torque control can be either direct self control of flux or indirect self control of flux. these are the methods of induction motor drives control means ac ka ek main jo hai that is induction motor unki control next ac drives now let us see ac motor drives are used in many industrial and domestic applications such as in conveyors lifts mixers escalators etc escalators aapne dekhe honge malls wagaira mein sab hai now let me tell you that if i talk of drives as i said there are two types of drives basically one is dc drive another is ac drive and if you see the industrial applications you will find 90% of the applications are ac drives 90% the rest 10% are dc drives you cannot say that dc drives are ruled out no dc drives are still very popular as i said cyclo converter drive chopper drive thyristorized controllers induction motor uh, your dc shunt motor controllers compound motor controllers series motor controllers hoists lifts etc these are dc drive no doubt but it forms only about 10% of the total control rest 90% are ac drives and among ac drives the most popular drive <coughs> is induction if you want to have a very very constant speed drive in ac then you go for synchronous motor otherwise you will go for an induction motor and induction motor also the speed is almost synchronous speed इंडक्शन मोटर की खासियत क्या होती है कि या तो ये चलेगा ये सिंक्रोनस मोटर की खासियत है या तो चलेगा एक ही स्पीड है या तो नहीं चलेगा ठीक है इट नीड्स एक्साइटेशन बट इंडक्शन मोटर व्हेन इट स्टार्ट्स इट रन्स नियरली एट सिंक्रोनस स्पीड सिंक्रोनस स्पीड इज डिफाइंड एज 120 एफ डिवाइडेड बाय पी इज द नॉर्मल इक्वेशन 120 एफ डिवाइडेड बाय पी इफ एफ इज एफ इज फ्रीक्वेंसी व्हिच इज 50 हर्ट्ज नॉर्मली एंड पी इज नंबर ऑफ पोल्स व्हिच इज 2 सो द स्पीड बिकम्स to 3000 theek hai na the maximum speed what you can have in an ac motor induction motor is 3000 rpm wo kahan milta hai aapko dekhne where do you find 3000 rpm se chalne wali machine kahan dekha hai thermal power station very good thermal power stations mein jo synchronous motor uh, aapka machine hai that is a that is a in synchronous machine and it runs at 3000 rpm theek hai but इंडक्शन मोटर को अगर आप चला देंगे तो करीब करीब 3000 में ही चलेगा 
it is it is a very unique motor it will run around 3000 the synchronous speed ke aas paas chalega bahut jyada control possible nahi hai why because it runs because of the factor called slip agar slip nahi hoti the induction motor start hi nahi hoga it will rotate like this again it will come back like this again like this again like this means it will oscillate it will never run if there is a slip then there is a uh, there is a chance of running of the rotor to catch up with the slip what is happening in induction motor when you are giving a three phase supply to the three phase winding of a of an induction motor there is a three phase feed is it not there is a three phase magnetic feed which i think slide will come huh? three phase feed wo three phase field jo hota hai wo rotating nature ka hota hai and single phase mein ye rotating nature ka nahi hota hai it is a it is a stationary field but it's a magnetic field. now take the case of a three phase induction motor when you give a three phase supply through a three phase winding it is it is it is rotating in nature and how is it rotating it is rotating at a synchronous speed which is given by 120 fyp means 3000 rpm if the number poles are two right now if there is a slip between the rotor and the stator the rotor will try to catch up with the stator due to induction effect this is what is induction principle it will try to catch up with the rotor but it will never be able to catch up with the stator because the slip is there and it will always be slightly reduced so agar ye barabar ho jata to kya hota locking ho jati pakad leta locking ho jati and motor wouldn't have started but because it is not equal to that stator flux field it will try to always run and try to catch it up and that is why the motor runs that is the beauty of the device that is the beauty of the machine so induction motor also runs around synchronous speed but it never achieves synchronous speed. and the speed can be controlled only within the range of slip which is about 4 to 6 percent also that is the beauty isiliye induction motors ko variable speed drive ke liye nahi use karta usko use kyunki aapki speed hi bahut kam range tak vary hogi zyada vary nahi hogi to constant absolute constant speed agar lagana chahe to synchronous motor use kijiye otherwise theek thak speed aapko chahiye to induction motor se badhiya koi drive nahi let us see AC motor drives are used in many industrial and domestic application such as in conveyors lifts mixers accelerators accelerators etc the ac motor have a number of advantages over dc drive what is that it is lightweight 20% to 40% lighter than equivalent dc motor as i said dc motor has to be costlier more weight a complex requires more maintenance etc etc this is these are the advantages and then it is inexpensive maine bola dc drive is a expensive drive this is inexpensive and it requires low maintenance the disadvantages of ac motor is the power control relatively complex and more expensive this is the most disadvantage of a three phase or an ac motor there are two types of ac motor drives one is the induction motor and the other is synchronous motor as i said synchronous motor has very very less use let us talk of synchronous machine synchronous machine ka use bahut zyada but not as a motor as an alternator as a generator or an alternator as i said when i when i go to a thermal power generation or a hydro power generation the machine which is generating electricity is a synchronous machine and it always runs at 3000 rpm that is the application so bahut zyada application but synchronous motor ka application bahut limited hai jahan par ko aapko bahut hi constant speed ki avashyakta hogi in ac you will go for a synchronous motor <coughs> otherwise you will go for an induction yes so induction motor drive as you are seeing it is rotating right the rotor is rotating it has slots the winding are inserted inside so two main units are there one is stator the other is rotor so three phase induction motor are commonly used in adjustable speed drives asd they are an adjustable but adjustable speed can be only within the range of slip mind it usse zyada ya usse kam aap nahi kar sakte so basic part of three phase induction motor as with three phase windings and rotor windings there are three parts rotor stator and air gap there has to be an air gap you cannot have a motor without air gap air gap has to be there within the tube and that air gap will give you the flux so some flux is the useful flux main flux and some flux which goes in the air leaks usko bolte leakage that is not a 
useful things. This is what I was trying to tell you, that when you give a supply to a three-phase winding, you see balanced three-phase currents are obtained. The green one is not very much very visible, I think, green one. But that the current, it is synchronously moving. That means it is synchronized. The three phases are synchronized to each other, and they are 120 degree apart. In may 120 degree ka phase difference hai. But they are synchronized. So it is always rotating. It is not a stationary field. So that field has to be rotating. What is it is known as three phase rotating magnetic field. In case of single phase induction motor, if you give, give a supply to a single phase winding, a single phase supply, then you have the field which is not rotating, which is stationary. This is the basic difference. So three phase and again the three how this looks like. The stated winding are supplied with balanced three phase AC voltages which produce induced voltage in the rotor windings. It is possible to arrange the distribution of state of winding so that there is an effect of multiple poles, producing several cycles of magnetomotive force, MMF. <coughs> As you have in electrical EMF, in magnetic circuit you have MMF. In electrical circuit you have current. In magnetic circuit you have flux. And in ele electrical circuit you have resistance. In magnetic circuit, you have reluctance. Yes. So these are the counterparts. Okay. The speed of the rotation of field is called synchronous speed. I have repeatedly told you, and that is shown by ns or omega. It is angular form omega. But in n, it is otherwise RPM. It is ns, and it is identified as omega is equal to two omega two omega divided by p, where p is the number of poles. And in ns form, it is 120 f by p. Okay. So ye aapka universal uh, equation hai, easy se sara control aapko karna pata hai. Omega is, is the synchronous speed, radian per second. Ns is synchronous speed, RPM. P is the number of poles. Omega is the supply frequency, radian per second. F is the supply frequency, hertz. And Nm is the motor speed. <coughs> kahi kahi jaga par Nm nahi likke, Nb likhte hai. It is the motor speed. Yes. So these are the speed torque characteristic. Here is one low torque, which is that good uh, horizontal line. And there is a, uh, a low torque characteristic of the induction motor. The characteristic is like this. You can reach this point if you see that the higher point. Here it is known as pull out or breakdown torque. This motor function karna band kar deta. Iske beyond there is no torque production. So motor will pull out. It's so easily pull out or breakdown torque. And operating point jahan low torque or ye jo characteristic hai, where they inter inter intersect each other, that point is known as the operating point. And the slip is minimum. This is try to we are we are trying to operate in this region so that the motor functions. The related motor speed it is given here. The related rated motor speed, the conveyor full load speed, the conveyor low load, say 1790 RPM, 1765 RPM, 1750. This is a typical example given. So speed versus torque. Next. And naturally, if you increase the load, the torque will be reduced. The speed will be reduced. So, what I have told you in the first slide, which I have power, thi, you have to have at the midpoint of the load line so that the maximum power is obtained. This is the three region operations motoring operation, regenerating operation, and plugging. Motoring is to start where the motor starts behaving like a motor. Plugging means electrical braking. Electrical braking is known as plugging. So, if you have a motor, you have to plug it. Say it is running in the clockwise direction. You want to plug it. Plug it means is you have to stop it. How do you do it? mechanical brake But we are talking about electrical braking. How will you do it? That process is known as plugging. So plugging both it. Agar man liji uska torque hai, wo clockwise hai, which is producing clockwise rotation. I will try to impose a torque which is in the anti-clockwise direction, ulte direction no. So, wo anti-clockwise direction jo hai, uski speed ko bhi anti-clockwise direction no karna chahe. Jahaan wo dono torque equal ho jayenge, it will become zero, absolutely null. Wo speed, usko bolte hai plugging action. So, these are the four, uh, three, I mean, uh, your operations regions, motoring, the motor chal raha hai, regenerating, which is slip is zero, one, slip is positive and slip is between one and two. So, plugging is opposite torque. 
So there are three regions shown, omega m, omega s, this is forward regeneration, forward motoring and reverse plugging. Similarly, opposite mein karenge, to reverse plugging, matlab T max minus ke taraf jayega. So kya karte hai, ya to uski connection ko badal dete hai. Kisi ek phase ke connection ko interchange kar dije. To usme jo voltage, wo torque joga, wo opposite direction mein, ko rukega. Ya usme kya karte hai, aur kya kar sakte hai? थोड़ी देर के लिए सप्लाई को ऑफ कर दिया तो टॉर्क जो है अपने आप ही जीरो हो गया सो दिस इज द मेथड एंड इसको कहते हैं इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रेकिंग नो देयर इलेक्ट्रिकल ब्रेकिंग कैन बी रीजेनरेटिव ब्रेकिंग आल्सो इसके अंदर आपने जो ब्रेक में पावर यूज हुआ उसको पावर तो लॉस हुआ ना ब्रेक के अंदर उसको हमने यूज नहीं किया सपोज कर लीजिए ब्रेक के पावर को ब्रेक में जो पावर हो रहा है उस पावर को हम अगर किसी तरीके से सप्लाई में फीडबैक कर दें दैट इज नोन एज रीजेनरेटिव रीजेनरेटिव In the same power is being used to the supply system. Also, dynamic braking we do. That can also be possible. Next. So, stator voltage control. Stator voltage control by controlling induction motor speed by adjusting this stator voltage. AC variable voltage is voltage from vary karenge, which is given to the induction motor, and naturally speed will change. So, in this, you have to see. Start the VS, VS1, VS2. These are the stator voltages. Different voltages. So different speed torque characteristic can be achieved, and naturally speed will be at different speeds can be adjusted. Similarly, frequency. If I change the frequency, variable frequency. वहाँ पर variable voltage था stator voltage यहाँ variable frequency. तो F को vary कर रहे हैं. So that will also change the speed and variable आपकी induction motor characteristic also will be different. F S one, F S two, etc. Control of slip ring induction motor speed using rotor resistance. And now there is an in uh, if you go for induction motor construction, there are mainly two types of construction. One is the squirrel cage uh, induction motor, wherein there is there is a cage, squirrel cage type motor, and this is end rings are there, just say short kar dete both. So usme kya provision uh, provision hai? No resistance can be inserted externally because it is shorted both the ends. But there is another type of which is in the motor. Which is known as is के अंदर क्या रखते हैं स्क्वायरल केज के अंदर केज के अंदर बार्स फिट कर देते हैं एल्युमिनियम के बार्स लगा देते हैं और कॉपर बार्स लगा दीजिए और उसको एंड से शॉर्ट कर दीजिए इट बिकम्स अ केज तो देर इज नो वाइंडिंग एक्चुअली बट अनादर टाइप ऑफ मोटर इज देयर विच इज फेज वाउंड मोटर जिसको बोलते हैं या स्लिपरिंग इंडक्शन मोटर बोलते हैं उसके अंदर आप रोटर में वाइंडिंग करते हैं स्टेटर में भी वाइंडिंग करते हैं एंड रोटर ऑल्सो हैज वाइंडिंग सो देर इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्क्वेरल केज इंडक्शन मोटर and slip ring induction motor or phase wound induction motor because in slip ring induction motors you have two windings and in case of squirrel cage induction motor you have only one winding and one cage with have bars to isse kya hota hai ki is is case mein slip ring induction motor mein there is a provision that external resistance can be added and once you add the external resistance by varying that resistance you can change the field current jab current ko aap change karenge to natural induction motor is changed उसकी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इस तरीके से थ्री फेज रेजिस्टर में भी रिप्लेस बाय थ्री फेज डायोड अभी देखिए पहले ये क्रूड मेथड होता था हम इसमें कई बार एक्सपेरिमेंट करते हैं इन द लेबोरेटरी यू मस्ट हैव डन दैट आई पुट ए थ्री फेज वेरिएंट और उसको मैं चेंज करूंगा तो स्पीड वेरी होगी क्यों बिकॉज आई एम चेंजिंग द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ईच फेजेस साइमल्टेनियसली सो ईच फेज का वोल्टेज चेंज हो रहा है स्टेटर वोल्टेज कंट्रोल होते हैं तो स्पीड आपकी चेंज होगी अगर मैं इसको और ज्यादा स्मूदन करना चाहूं विदाउट हैविंग वेरिएबल रेजिस्टेंस और वेरिएट इन दिस सिस्टम वी मे चेंज इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ डायोड्स एंड दैट इज नोन एज अ बेटर कंट्रोल सो रेक्टिफायर डायोड लगा दिया थ्री फेज ब्रिज बना दिया देर आर डी वन डी टू डी थ्री डी फोर डी फाइव एंड डी सिक्स सिक्स डायोड्स आर देयर उसके अंदर जो वेरिय स्पीड है उसको वेरी करने के लिए इस डायोड की जे हम रेक्टिफाइड आउटपुट आया और उसको जीटीओ या और कोई थर्स्टर लगा के उसकी फायरिंग को चेंज करके आई कैन चेंज द वोल्टेज इसको बोलते हैं स्टैटिक या सॉलिड स्टेट कंट्रोल व्हाट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस होल कोर्स सो विदाउट चेंजिंग रेजिस्टेंस मैन्युअली और अदरवाइज विद हेल्प ऑफ एरिया वी कैन स्टेट अवे गो फॉर सॉलिड स्टेट कंट्रोल व्हिच इज दिस इज वन एग्जांपल ऑफ इट हियर आल्सो वी कैन डू दिस एंड इट इज अ मोर स्मूदर कंट्रोल एज कंपेयर टू द फर्स्ट एक्स सो सेम थिंग द ब्लॉक डायग्राम हैज बीन शोन ये इसका आउटपुट लिया बेस ड्राइव को दिया आउटपुट लेके स्पीड कंट्रोलर करंट लिमिटर एंड देन एडजस्टर एक्सेट्रा एंड इट गोज बैक टू द रोटर 
सो हम क्या कर रहे हैं कि रोटर में से जो आपका लोड है उसकी स्पीड को हम पहले नापते हैं विद हेल्प ऑफ ए टैकोमीटर और बेटर टैको जनरेटर एंड दैट इज गिवन टू द कंट्रोलर तो कंट्रोलर में अकॉर्डिंगली वो जब सिग्नल चेंज होगा तो वो उसकी एरर को चेंज करेगा अकॉर्डिंगली इट विल चेंज द फायरिंग एंगल ऑफ द फायरिस्टर्स एंड नेचुरली इट विल गिव यू वेरिएबल वोल्टेज एंड नेचुरली द स्पीड विल चेंज नेक्स्ट दिस इज अ स्लिप पावर रिकवरी सिस्टम यू सी इसमें क्या है कि दोनों तरफ दो ब्रिजेस लगा दिए ड्यूएल कन्वर्टर भी से ड्यूएल कन्वर्टर एक से इनपुट ले रहे हैं दूसरे से जो आउटपुट आ रहा है उसको फिर से फीडबैक कर दे रहे सप्लाई में सो इट इज ए ड्यूएल कन्वर्टर रीजेनरेटिव जो मैं आपको बता रहा था कि जो सप्लाई में जो आउटपुट आया इन्वर्टर ए को देखिए आपने रेक्टिफायर की तरह यूज किया दूसरे को आपने इन्वर्टर के इनके जो कॉन्फ्यूगरेशन देखिए ये उल्टा लगा हुआ जो थायरिस्टर्स लगे हैं ये डायोड ब्रिज है और इसके अंदर जो आपका कंट्रोल रेक्टिफायर इन्वर्टर है उसकी कॉन्फ्यूगरेशन देखिए दोनों की उल्टा so this works can be a uh, works as a inverter so inverter mein output kya aayega input to rectify dc of this has to be dc output kya aayega ac aayega usko smoothen wagera karne ke baad jo ac mila usi ko supply system mein feedback kar diya that's why it is known as regenerative power plant a regenerative control this is the same thing for the the double bridge wahi cheez dikhaya hai ki kaise control kar rahe uski puri block bata diya करंट कंट्रोलर बेस ड्राइव करंट लिमिटर स्पीड कंट्रोलर ओमेगा स्पीड सेंसर एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा तो पूरी सर्किटरी है वो बताए नाउ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ एसी ड्राइव लेट एस सी वॉट आर द एप्लीकेशन इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन सेंटिफ्यूज एलिवेटर स्केलेटर इंडस्ट्रियल फैन इंडस्ट्रियल पंप इंडस्ट्रियल कंप्रेशर कमर्शियल एच बी एसी सिस्टम एच बी एसी सिस्टम मीन्स हाई वोल्टेज एसी सिस्टम हाई वोल्टेज एसी एच बी सिस्टम में भी आपको एसी ड्राइव ही यूज करना पड़ेगा बाई द वे इफ यू गो टू अ थर्मल पावर स्टेशन यू मस्ट हैव सीन अ मोटर पंप कॉल्ड बॉयलर फीड पंप मोटर ई एफ डब्ल्यू बोलते हैं ना देखा है कभी बॉयलर फीड पंप ई एफ पी नहीं देखा उसकी रेटिंग कितनी हो सकती है कैन एनी बडी टेल मी इफ यू हैव सीन इट देन ओनली यू कैन सी इट इज अज मोटर इट्स अज ड्राइव एंड इट the function of this drive is to pump water in the boiler you will be surprised to know the rating of this drive is 2 megawatts or even more than that 2 megawatt ki motor jo ki drive ke tarah use ho raha hai pump ke liye to drive ban gaya usko agar aapko control karna hai to naturally very very high power electronic devices are required wahan par aapke chote diax ya ट्राइक्स काम नहीं करेंगे उसके लिए आपको हाई पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस काम में लाना पड़ेगा एंड दैट इज लॉट ऑफ पावर इज वेस्टेड कितना पावर वो कंज्यूम कर लेता है पानी को पंप करने के लिए कितनी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वो कंज्यूम कर रहा है अगर मान लीजिए 2.5 मेगावाट की मोटर है कितना पावर वो कंज्यूम कर रहा है इट इज ऑलवेज रनिंग सो थर्मल पावर स्टेशन की जो एफिशिएंसी है वो इन कारणों से बहुत कम होती हाउ मच एफिशिएंसी डू यू थिंक थर्मल पावर स्टेशन हैज हां 80 परसेंट थर्टी परसेंट ओके देर इज वन थर्मल पावर स्टेशन इन यूपी इन डालको इन डालको पता आपको जो कि इनका है आपका बिरला वालों का है इन डालको इन डालुमिनियम उसकी एफिशिएंसी नापी गई थी 45 परसेंट एंड दैट इज द हाइस्ट एफिशिएंसी ऑफ अ थर्मल पावर स्टेशन वेरी वेरी आई मीन सरप्राइज है आई हैव बीन टू दैट प्लेस दे आर यूजिंग सॉलिड स्टेट एक्साइटेशन they are using the best drives they are using the best possible circuitries and the control units and unhone kai jagah ye jo aapke jo ye jo boiler boiling feed water pump hai usko steam se chalaya hua hai wo electricity se nahi chalaya usko steam se chalaya hai that steam has been taken out of the system only system mein se jo leakage tha steam ka usme se use karke usko chalaya and its efficiency is 45% aaj tak kisi thermal power station 45% efficiency mein nahi chala There is a power station in Ropal near. You must have seen it. Its efficiency is about 36 percent. So the reason is, it is a very very important. The drive is a very important factor. Why I am saying all these things to you? Because you know, pr- uh, 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 any index of country, the people say that we are developed country. Some people say we are undeveloped country. Some people say that you are developing country. So country can be of three types: underdeveloped, developing. and develop what are we we are developing country na 
इसका इंडेक्स क्या होता है हाउ डू यू से दैट दिस दिस इज अ ए कंट्री इज अ अंडर डेवलप्ड कंट्री दिस इज अ डेवलपिंग कंट्री दिस इज अ डेवलप्ड कंट्री दिस इज डेवलपिंग कंट्री हाउ डू यू से दैट द मेन इंडेक्स ऑफ दिस इज द पर कैपिटल कंजम्पशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पर कैपिटल कंजम्पशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सिग्निफिकेंट पॉइंट वेयर इन बेस्ड ऑन व्हिच यू कैन से अ कंट्री इज डेवलप्ड और अनडेवलप्ड or develop now on the on one hand i am saying this on the other hand i am saying that you know the electricity generation of india what is the electricity generation how much is being generated in, in india can anybody tell me it is more than 2.7 gigawatts 270000 megawatts se zyada hoga 2.7 gigawatts it's a huge amount of electricity You can imagine huge amount of electricity is being generated in this country, but what is the per capita consumption? Per capita consumption is even lesser than Pakistan's, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, etc., etc. Why? What is the reason? Because the huge population you have. So, itna generation hote bhi bhi aapki per capita consumption jo ki index hai. आपकी प्रोग्रेस की वो कम है आपकी जीडीपी कम हो जाती है तो इसको चैलेंज करना इज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इन द कंट्री ये जो आपका प्लानिंग कमीशन है इसके बाद दो मेजर इश्यूज है वन इज द पावर कंजम्पन एंड अनदर इज रूरल डेवलपमेंट अगर आप रूरल डेवलपमेंट को एक काम कर रहे हैं तो लॉट ऑफ मनी विल बी पंप इन फॉर योर प्रोजेक्ट और इफ यू कैन गिव सजेस्ट समथिंग दैट आई कैन सेव पावर आई कैन आई कैन आई कैन conserve power electricity you will be given lot of power a lot of money so this is why i am saying because lot of power is being wasted in the form of unused power so these drives are the main reasons industrial mein application aapka power ka bahut zyada hai humne aapko shuru mein bataya ki 50% 70% of the generated electricity is being consumed by the drives that is a major drive i mean major consumer so if you can do some check there you will achieve it that is why i am saying that this has to be controlled jitni aap isko control kar sake conserve kar sake utni efficiency aapki achhi hogi utni effectivity achhi hogi and final result will be better right so let us see what are these industrial applications of ac drives as i said centrifuge elevator escalators industrial fans industrial pumps industrial compressors commercial hvac systems etc etc have you heard of the term these are the automation applications the robo is there then then there is an arm which is ni based these are automatic wheelchair all these are ac drives okay. so now the low, low role of power electronic converters in electric drives this is the main role main topic actually ki kya inhone isse kaun sa role play kiya let us see quickly power electronic converters in ed systems converters for motor drives some possible configurations are here dc drives and ac drives dc drives have ac source dc source ac source dc source then the ac source can be ac to dc and it can be ac to dc to dc means ac to dc and dc to another level of dc then in dc source there can be dc ac dc and it could be dc to dc in ac source here you can ec dc ac it can be ac to ac Here DC source you can DC to AC or DC DC AC. So again it is a constant DC type, constant DC or variable DC. This is what is happening and lay like this the power electronic converters are working. Let's see. Power modulators, the drives which alter the nature of frequency or frequency as well as changes the intensity of power to control electrical drives. That is known as power modulator. Roughly. power modulators can be classified into three types converters variable impedances and switching circuits converters minded i have told you about rectifier and inverter they are nothing but converters you can use a dual converter also double bridge jaga dual converter bhi use karte hain aur dusri aapki aur bhi jo devices hain wo converters mein aate hain converters are used to convert currents from one type to other type depending on the type of function converters can be divided into five types which is ac to dc converter as i was showing in that chart ac regulators choppers or dc to dc converters inverters and cyclotron
these are the main converters. Of course, one thing I think we are missing in this, you can note it down, one is a dual converter also. Dual converter is rectifier inverter or inverter rectifier. By the way, as I have told you, the DC machine can be either DC generator or DC motor. Similarly, a same bridge can be used as a rectifier or as a inverter. Can you tell me how? Just a DC motor, you have a DC machine. Thi. Dono mein aapka, um, commutator hai, us machine ke andar. Lekin usko aap DC mode mein bhi chala ke motor bana sakte. Ya usko dusre wale mode mein bana ke generate bhi kar sakte. Uske andar commutator ka function hai dono ke liye. Ek mein constant moving torque generate karta hai. Aur dusre mein ya output DC generate karta hai. Dono ka function hai. Ek hi bridge ko aap inverter aur rectifier kaise chala sakte. This is a challenge before you. I say it is just like DC machine. You see, if you are using the fire, fire firing angle to 90 degrees, up to 90 degrees, the bridge will function as a rectifier. If you have four quadrant operation, you will find 0 to 90. Power is always positive. V is on I is on the side. Mein. So V into I is positive. V positive, I positive means power is positive. Power positive means rectifier. So it is power positive. But you go to second quadrant. V positive hai, I kya hai? I is negative. So power becomes negative. Jahan ye negative hua, to ye kya ban gaya? Rectifier ni inverter bana. Same bridge works as an inverter. So in other words, you can say that if you have the firing angle between 0 and 90, the, the bridge functions as a rectifier. If you go beyond 90 degree up to 180 degrees, the same bridge will function as an inverter. Similarly, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant will match with your second quadrant and third quadrant will match with your first quadrant. So, AC to DC converters, AC regulators, choppers or DC to DC converters, inverters, cycloconverters and I add one more to you that is dual converters. Next. So, AC to DC converters. AC to DC converters are used to obtain fixed DC supply from the AC supply of fixed voltage. The very basic diagram of AC to DC converters is like fixed voltage or three phase AC or single phase, jo bhi hai, diode rectifier mein de dije, output aapko milega, which is a fixed voltage. Now, if I want to use a rectifier bridge, ho gaya man lije, single phase, is ki output ko mein vary karna chahun, to kaise karo gaya? Can I vary the output? You have a single phase bridge, that means its input is single phase AC, output is rectified DC, not pure DC, rectified DC. And I want to have a variable DC output like this. I don't have any option but by using a variac in the input. Yani ki input ko agar mein thoda vary karunga, to automatically output be variable. But that is not a control. So this is uncontrolled. Uncontrolled rectifier with the help of ordinary <coughs> diodes. Diodes say you have a rectifier, whatever voltage you will get. If you don't change input, it will be fixed. Hi so this is fixed. Okay. Next. AC regulators. Same thing. Fixed uh, uh, voltage for three phase AC. Auto transformer. Yeah, fixed turns uh, turns ratio. Me de dije. Lower AC voltage can be obtained. Yeah, step down. Semi lower AC voltage can be. Obtained. So this is regulator. Next. Choppers or DC to DC converters, I have already talked about it. You can skip it. Of course, in case of choppers, either you can use thyristors or smaller rating transistors, even MOSFETs can be used. The choppers can be built in with the help of MOSFETs. Inverters, we can do fixed DC voltage and PWM semiconductor inverter variable frequency, variable voltage. Output up in the So, ye directly motor speed ko vary karne ke liye ye kaam mein This ko kehte PW means, PW means what? Pulse width modulation. So, pulse width modulation may be wohi karte jo humne aapko pehle bata. Matlab duty cycle ko change karo. Chidi si baat. Next. Inverters and cycloconverters. Cycloconverters are used to convert the fixed frequency and fixed voltage AC into variable frequency variable voltage. As I gave you the example of traction. Traction made of frequency, can you tell me what is the frequency used in Indian railway tractions? Can anybody tell me? 
मेन्स की फ्रीक्वेंसी फिफ्टी हर्ट्स है ठीक है ना लेकिन वो जो सब स्टेशन जो मैंने कहा रेलवे की प्रॉपर्टी होती है वो उस कितनी फ्रीक्वेंसी में कन्वर्ट करता है नॉर्मली सिक्सटीन टू थर्ड सिक्सटीन टू टू थर्ड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज एग्जैक्टली द वन थर्ड ऑफ फिफ्टी हर्ट्स इट इज द वन थर्ड ऑफ फिफ्टी हर्ट्स तो सिक्सटीन टू थर्ड आएगा सिक्सटीन टू थर्ड हर्ट्स में जब आपने फ्रीक्वेंसी कंट्रोल कर दिया तो नेचुरली आउटपुट जो आपकी स्पीड आएगी वो चेंज हो सकती आजकल नवे डेज बिकॉज इन इंडिया द अट्रैक्शन मोटर्स आर इवन नाउ आर डी सी सीरीज मोटर्स ठीक है लेकिन इन वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज दे हैव इंट्रोड्यूस इंडक्शन मोटर तो इंडक्शन मोटर में प्रॉब्लम क्या था वॉट वॉज द प्रॉब्लम अदरवाइज इंडक्शन मोटर स्क्वेर केज इंडक्शन मोटर द बेस्ट ड्राइव देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट बिग ड्राइव बट द प्रॉब्लम वॉज देयर स्पीड कंट्रोल कंट्रोल ऑफ स्पीड बिकॉज द रेंज ऑफ कंट्रोल एज आई टोल्ड यू वॉज ओनली फाइव टू सिक्स परसेंट it is more near synchronous speed that means higher speeds were no problem the problem were for the lower speeds train ko shuru mein hi bilkul 100 miles per hour ko jana nahi hai usko dheere se speed pick karna hai lekin jo hi aapne supply diya isko speed pick karni chahiye high starting torque zarur honi chahiye but speed should gradually vary from low to this is the property to wo cyclo converter se use kar sakte hain by converting the frequency फ्रीक्वेंसी कैन बी कन्वर्टेड सिक्सटीन टू थर्ड उसका भी हाफ हो सकता है ट्वेल्व हर्ट हो सकता है सिक्स हर्ट हो सकता है तो उससे क्या हो जाएगा स्पीड आपकी घटा सकते हैं मीन्स लोअर टू हायर स्पीड में आप जा सकते हैं बट हायर स्पीड वॉज नॉट ए प्रॉब्लम फॉर इंडक्शन मोटर तो ये आजकल वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज में इन प्लेस ऑफ डीसी सीरीज मोटर थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर ड्राइव आर यूज फॉर ट्रैक्शन इन इंडिया ऑल्सो दिस इज अंडर रिसर्च I think some of the places they are going to replace it very, 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 very quickly. They are going to do it. Okay? Is it what will happen? Series motor, coil induction motor, what will happen? What is the advantage? I have told you so many advantages. It is lesser costing. Its maintenance is lesser. Its power consumption is less. It is lighter in weight. It is lesser complicated. Its fabrication techniques is easier, and all those things. That's why we are going for induction. Next. The variable impedance method is variable impedances are used for controlling speed by varying the resistance or impedance of the circuit. But these controlling methods are used in low cost, but the uh, low cost as DC and AC drives. There can be two or more steps which can be controlled manually or automatically with the help of contactors. To limit the starting current, induct inductors are used in AC motors. Limit करने के लिए smooth con control करने के लिए inductors का use switching circuits switching circuit in the motors and electrical drives are used for running the motor smoothly and they also protect the machine during faults these circuits are used for changing the quadrant of operations in the running conditions of a the motor these circuits are implemented to operate the motor and drives according to predetermined sequences to provide interlocking to disconnect the motor from the main circuit during any abnormal conditions or faults so with these uh, i mean what the, the what is this actually wanted to discuss with you i have talked what i have told you is ki what is a drive first of all you should understand what is a drive it is not the motor it is the motor with something and which is nothing but the controller and the controller is power electronic control high power electronic devices are being used for controlling normally thyristors we started with transistors then came thyristors now we have power transistors we also have igbts we also have mosfets and that is known as pc power electronic converters so converters maine aapko ac aur dc drives ki baat batayi hai drive ka application bataya hai ac drive ka kya application hai dc drive ka kya application so these words i would like to terminate this session here but not without asking you to ask some certain questions the house is now free for asking questions to me if you have any questions you can ask me any questions yes please hello yes please yes yes any questions एक मिनट एक मिनट पहले आप ये बताइए कहाँ से बोल रहे हैं 
DC drive can be used for? Mines. Mines. Okay. It's a very good question. Very good question. Well, DC drives are normally avoided. Clapping. It is normally avoided for mines because I have I have forgotten to talk to you within my lecture that mines are very hazardous situations and DC drives are prone to sparks because of commutators. So normally we don't use <coughs> these drives in my mines. We prefer to use AC drives. Any more questions, please? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any more questions from other centers, please? Then connect some others. No, sir, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Sir, TTC. TTC. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Any questions you want to ask? No, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. In the other center? Sir, so they don't have questions. We connect. Through connected means. We can even not connect. Yes. Any questions from this uh, crowd, please? <laughs> Audience? If you don't have any questions, then I would like to thank you for the patience hearing. Thank you very much, uh, HITM Agra. Thank you very much, TTC Jodhpur. And also, thank you very much, Bikane, College of Engineering, Bikane. Thank you very much. And we will meet. We, one announcement, please. We will meet sharply at 2 o'clock in this place. Kindly come at 2. Join us at 2 o'clock. 2 to 4 is the next session. Thank you very much. <laughs>